I ran across a nice video that I think that you should share with your family, your friends, the young generation. Uh, the video is talking about strands of DNA. It's something that you didn't, didn't teach you in, in you know, elementary school and science and, and junior high school and senior high school and sometime in college. But strands of DNA determine intelligence. And this is what the study has shown. So, um, this, this young man, well, he's an old man, about my age. And him and his brother, they, they are highly intellectual people. And then they did some research and they found um, a study that was based on scrans of DNA. Okay, scrans of DNA determine intelligence. Certain uh, primates, they have lower strands of DNA than humans. And uh, he went in detail, he goes in detail to break it down and explain to you the strands in DNA in human beings all over this planet. Uh, I, was, I was just uh, thrown back. I was just amazed with this information. And, and that's why I'm posting this today and sharing this with my community. Now, in this beginning, of the video, he's gonna talk about how many strands different primates have, and also how many strands of DNA that humans have all over the planet. And why is it is important for us to know this. So they tested the orangutans, these 15 geneticists from around the world that now, these geneticists came from nine different universities, and we have here on the cover of the pamphlet they put out the names of these geneticists. And you can see them right there, right beneath, right beneath the title of this pamphlet. Now, this pamphlet, most people have no idea what it means. But breaking it down, and after you study it, and have it explained to you by a geneticist, a trained geneticist, you will find that they're talking about DNA series. Now here are the names of these 15 geneticists from around the world, University of Japan, University of China, Yale University is the headquarters of this organization called the American Association for the Advancement of Science. And you see it down there. Now this was copyrighted in 1996. All right. What it said is this, and this is, this is the mind-blowing part. It said that when they tested the orangutan, they found out he only had three DNA series. When he tested the gorilla, they found that the gorilla has four DNA series. Well, they're a little, he's a little smarter than the orangutan. They tested the chimpanzee, which is an ape, and found that he had five DNA series. Then they went into, they went all into the different races of the world. They went into Europe and tested the DNA series of the English the French, the German, the Spanish, the Russians, and found they had six DNA series. Then they put all of this, what they found from around the world, on a map. And this map really is called the intelligence map of the world because they tested 116 different human groups and found their DNA series numbers. All of them, all over the world, have six. And they put the n numbers in form of a little flag that you can see on this map. These little flags have a color. And they show, oh, well, this, is, this is upside down. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. And they show that the English have only six, 
and all into Europe, only six, went over into Japan and China, and they only have six, over into America with a predominantly European, and they only have six. Then they came to Africa, and they came to the part of Africa. Now, all the rest of them, they put in little flag colors. Those flag colors are, are orange-red, if you notice. But when you come to Africa, found out that the African people have nine. Now, you know, when I was going to school, they ain't never talking about uh, uh, strands of DNA. They just talk about uh, RNA and DNA, but they never get into the strands of DNA, and they never talk to us about uh, the intelligence linked with strands of DNA. The only thing they was talking about that either we came from uh, creation or we came from evolution. And we didn't never have a chance for anybody to sit down and give us this valuable information, you know. So they was always telling like <laughs> that we was uh, connected to gorillas and chimpanzees and all this. But this, this information right here is a valuable teaching. It's opened the door to the truth. No propaganda, uh, no lies, but this is the truth. And it's a blessing that we were able to run across this video to share with the community. And I like the way that he goes into detail explaining uh, the strands of DNA. Nine DNA series from here just below the Shanghai Empire down to the foot of Africa. All those ten nations of which African Americans descended from one of them. We have nine DNA series. The greatest possibility of genius in our group. Now it's answered this age old question. Mm -hmm. How can a people survive being told they're nothing for 400 years, never allowed to learn that they came from beautiful cities and told they came from a jungle? How could a people survive? How can a people become champions in everything they touch? Because they have nine DNA series, while the rest of the world has only six. This is why they copyrighted this. And you notice on the outside of this. Now, this map is taken. I took this map right from this page here. And I blew it up so that the world could see it. Even though this is copyrighted, I can't let you have this book because it's copyrighted. The title of the book is called Glow global patterns of linkage disequilibrium at the CD4 locus and modern human origins global patterns of linkage disequilibrium at the CD4 locus and modern human origins now you have to be a geneticist to even know what, that's to what they're talking about but when we broke it down and interviewed uh, Dr. Kidd the head, he's the chairman at Yale University. He broke it down into plain everyday English so that the world would know that the African American is descended from those people who gave to the world the Great Pyramid, gave to the world science, gave to the world mathematics, a black man named Amos gave algebra to the world 3,700 years ago. It's in the world books. In the, it's in the encyclopedias. They don't want our children to know this. Because then that would make the level, the playing field level for white children. And you know what happens when they made the playing field level in basketball and allowed black men to play. 
out of 29 of the top seeded players in the world today, 28 are African American. When they opened up the pen relays, when they opened up the Olympics and allowed blacks to run back in 1932, we've won, won all the gold medals. And the same thing will happen in the classroom when they allow our children to learn their African history. That's what this is saying. Dr. Robinson, mm -hmm. uh, are you saying that the African American also has nine strands of DNA? I am saying that we are descended from the West Africans who had nine DNA series. On this map, that these geneticists, you see the green, you see the green down here? Yes. Well, that's where we're from. That's where African Americans are from. Did they test African Americans? They, they, they couldn't. They tested Americans mm -hmm. as a group, whites, uh. and they have six. They didn't test African Americans because they know that we are the same people in West, from West Africa. Oh, so they didn't have to. Didn't have to. Okay, that's true. That's true. <laughs> How is it that you think that uh, this? evolved, that we evolved with nine strands nine. below the Sahara. Well, it tells you in here. This book tells why. Preemie babies, leaving their mother's womb early, too early, never develop to the same. This is my opinion of the video. I think the video opened the eyes and minds of a whole lot of people. Back in the, in, in, in the 60s and the 70s, uh, my uh, teachers and professors, they didn't go deep into explaining the, the power behind the DNA information like this old man is doing. So uh, I really, my, it's, a, it's an eye opener and it's, a, it's, it's, it's no propaganda. He's telling the truth about scientists all around the world came together to analyze human DNA along with primate DNA and tell you about the strands of DNA. I really enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed it. I, I could watch this video over and over and over again. Uh, like I said, when y'all have the time, please like and subscribe and give me your feedback. And thank you for watching.